Hi there, I just want to spend the next few minutes uh, explaining how to get light fog using uh, menta ray uh, shaders um, to accomplish this in Maya. Uh, first thing we need to do is set up our environment um, and how volumetric shaders work in Maya is essentially you have to set up an environment and all the lighting gets set up inside of this environment. Uh, so what we have here is a cube that acts as our environment and all our action happens within, it, within that. So I have our environment, plane, and our light. And next thing we want to do is start setting up the, the, the render and the shaders to, to get the effect we want. So we'll bring up our render settings. Inside the features tab, first thing you need to enable is auto volume. This would be off by default, so you want to make sure that is enabled. Uh, turn on volume shaders if it's not. And uh, we'll leave our volume samples at default, which is what. And that can be brought up later on when you go to your final renders. So close this up. Next thing we want to do is work on our environment because this is what's going to be holding all the information. So in our hyper shade here, we want to go to the shading group for our material of that environment. And next thing we want to do is start bringing in some mental ray shaders. Uh, if you're using 2012, you can uh, search nicely. So if you want a transmat material, we just do that. I'm going to bring in the transmat and then I'm going to bring in a party volume. Part of volume is actually what's going to control the volume, uh, the scattering of the fog for the light. So once again in our shading group, we want to bring the transmat into the material shader, just middle mouse, drag and drop, and then the party volume is going to go into the volume shader portion. Okay, if we render this right now, um, not much is going to happen because, uh, because of two things. One, our scatter set to black, so no fog will be uh, emitted and the other one is within the lights there is no light set up so we can easily drag our light in oops click on lights drag it in there like so and if we bring this up slightly ever so slightly and begin to render this out we'll get the effect that we want so you can see that we have a nice uh, fog that we want so the render time, you do get hit on the render time when you're comparing um, Maya's standard software rendering uh, fog, uh, but the look is, is, is a whole lot different when they're using the mentor you want. And that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. Obviously, if we uh, crank up the scatter a bit more uh, from black to white, uh, the intensity will be so much more in your renders. Um, also, uh, something to highlight, if I close this off, if you actually go into our light, you want to make sure your uh, penumbra angle is set to something between uh, obviously 5 and 10. Uh, you have to play around to see the look, look and feel that you want. Drop off edge and leave it at zero. And uh, you get the light effect that you want. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.